Good evening. On behalf of the London Review of Books, I would first like to welcome you here. Secondly, I would like to thank you for your enormous patience. I'm very sorry that it has taken so long to get you in here and that that has delayed the start of the evening. Finally, I would like to introduce you to our moderator for this evening's debate, Anne-Marie Slaughter. Thank you. Good evening. Let me begin by introducing our panelists, and I'm assuming they're going to walk out here a little like a game show. <laughs> our first panelist, Shlomo Ben-Ami, who is a former Israeli foreign and security minister and the author of Scars of War. Our second panelist, Martin Indyk, who is the director of the Saban Center for Middle East Policy and uh, senior fellow in foreign policy studies at Brookings. You're next. <laughs> Tony Jutt, who is Eric, the Eric Maria Remark Professor in European Studies and director of the Remark Institute at New York University. John uh, Rashid Khalidi is the Edward Said Professor of Arab Studies and Director of the Middle East Institute. John Mearsheimer is the R. Wendell Harrison Distinguished Service Professor of Political Science. Dennis Ross is the Counselor and Ziegler Distinguished Fellow of the Washington Institute for Near East Policy. I hope that's the end of the applause meter uh, approach to this debate. Otherwise, we're not going to get uh, very much said or heard. Uh, let me ex explain the ground rules. Uh, I will open, uh, then I will put uh, a, an opening question. We're not going to have opening statements, and we will uh, have a debate among the participants on stage. Uh, at some point, I will turn uh, over to the audience uh, toward the end uh, for questions from the floor, although at this point, it's going to be very hard for me to see you. Uh, so let me start by talking about the debate that I think many people in my world, the academic world, the foreign policy world, uh, think would be valuable to hold. There are many people who think it would be valuable to have a debate about U.S. policy toward Israel, about uh, Israeli policy toward the Palestinians, about U.S. and Israeli policy in the Middle East more broadly. More specifically, I'd like to quote uh, from an article written by Daniel Levy, an Israeli who was a policy advisor uh, in, the, in Ehud Barak's uh, office. He wrote this article originally in Haaretz, uh, and it was republished in the International Herald Tribune. He offered the following talking points uh, for a debate. Efforts to collapse the Israeli and neoconservative agendas into one have been a terrible mistake, writes Daniel Levy. He says, second, Israel would do well to distance itself from our friends on the Christian evangelical right. Third, I'm quoting from Daniel Levy, Israel must not be party to the bullying tactics used to silence policy debate in the United States. And fourth, he writes, the lobby denies Israel something that many other countries benefit from, the excuse of external encouragement to do things that are politically tricky but nationally necessary. Those are topics uh, that, as I said, many think it would be valuable to debate. That's not the debate that we've been having uh, over the past few months uh, since John Mearsheimer and Stephen Walt published their article, The Israel Lobby, uh, in the London Review of Books. 
We've had some of that debate in the pages of foreign policy. We've had a debate about what really drives a U.S. policy toward Israel. But we've also been having a debate about anti-Semitism, about treason, about the very uh, fact that this article was written. I have concluded it's impossible to have the second debate without having at least some of the first debate. And this evening, we're going to open by trying to clear uh, some of those issues and then turn uh, to the more substantive issues in the article. 